Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we are going to finish up our placket top. Um, so last time, and if you didn't watch that, go check it out. Last time um, we created a placket for a top that didn't have a placket. So we went over how to add this cute little placket to it. And today we're finishing it up by creating a neck bind, neck binding or a neck band, um, however you want to do it. So I'm going to show you just how easy it is to add that neck band um, to, and, and also you can use this for figuring out any kind of neck band. If you raise your neck band or lower your neck band, um, we're going to find out how to do that. And then um, we're going to attach it on and we'll be done. And then I'm, I'm going to show you how this turned out. I'm super excited. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so last time I saw you, I had my front panel only. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and continue to sew up your top, adding the back, the sleeves, whatever you're doing to it. And then now when it's pretty much finished, this is where we pick up again. Now, this is a tank I'm using the um, uh, free curved hand from Ellie and Max. So if you wanted to make something exactly like mine, you can go grab that free pattern and um, sew it with me. So anyway, I already sewed the shoulders and the sides, and then I attached the armbands and I hemmed. Um, so now all I've got left for this top is to um, attach the neckband. Now um, we have to figure out how big we want that neckband to be. The reason being that usually the neckband that comes with the top is not going to fit because you've got this extra room right here that overlaps. So it's kind of like an extra inch um, because you've got to be able to cover both of these sides. You don't want to cover one and not the other and you don't want to go on top of it. Now, if you want it just a full placket where you don't have to open the placket, then I would say you could go ahead and sew your neckband on just like you would in a regular basis. Just keep this, uh, uh, stitch this close uh, with a basting stitch before you attach it and that's all you have to do. Um, you can do that. But if we want this placket to work, we need to do a neckband that comes to end at the placket. Um, so that way it'll go all the way around and you can open the placket. So the first thing we need to do is we need to grab a ruler or, well, a measuring tape. It's easier than a ruler because the measuring tape is easier to measure with. And what you're going to do is you're going to measure your whole neckline. So you're going to start at the beginning of your placket and you're going to place your tape right there and you're going to go all the way around. Don't stretch the fabric because you want to get a precise um, sizing of your neck. And so you're just going all the way around. Again, this uh, measuring tapes are so much easier for this because they're pliable. Like you can blend, blend them. You can blend them. You can bend them. You can do all things to them. So it makes it a lot easier to, um, to find your sizing. So I went all the way around and I measured and I got, let me, let me try this again because I got a different measurement right now when I just did it than when I tried it earlier. But that might be because I'm over here talking to you all, telling you not to stretch it and I'm over here not really paying attention. And that is the reason why I took that measurement earlier because when I get on here, I get nervous, I ramble and <laughs> Now I'm rambling again. You can do this, um, take the measurement on your pattern pieces first. That way you have a very clear measurement um, on it. That is up to you as well. You can do that and that would work just fine. All right, we're coming all the way around. Okay, so I've got about a 25 and a half is what I got on mine. Um, so depending on what you have on yours, then you take the next measurement. Um, so for a neckband, um, if you're planning to do a neckband, you usually grab the however much your neckband is, your neck area is, and you times that by uh, the percentage. You can times it by anywhere from 85 to 90%. It really is up to you how tight you want that neckband to be, how loose you want it to be. Sometimes I do it tighter, sometimes I do it looser, depending on the fabric that I'm using. Uh, because this is a placket, I'm going to start with 90% um, just to see how it works. And, um, and then you're gonna add seam allowance because on the ends, you need seam allowance for both ends, which I'm adding a quarter inch on each end, so that's a half an inch. Um, you're going to sew them together first, so you wanna make sure that you have that seam allowance to sew it together or whatever you're gonna do. So I already cut my piece of fabric, and I cut it by 1.5 width. Uh, let me make sure, yeah, that's what I did. 1.5, the width is 1.5, and the length is my, the length of my neckline times 
I did it 90%. So you can do it, um, or I think you can do it anywhere from 85 to 90, depending on how tight you want it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is there's a couple different ways you can actually attach the neckband on for a placket. And I'm gonna show you uh, how it goes and then I'm gonna sew one of the ways and then we're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you, so you tell me what you like best. All right, friends, so here we have our placket and it's ready to be sewn. So different ways that you can do this is you can grab your neck band first and you can sew it right sides together here at the corner. When you sew that right sides together, let me just add a clip right here and I'm gonna show you what it does. When you sew that right sides together and you turn it, you will have like this clean edge right here. And if you do that, then you can just easily attach it like a neck band, which I think is the easiest way to do it. The only thing is that once you attach it as a neck band, you're going to have your serger thread come out right here. So you have to uh, tuck that in and, and kind of top stitch it down right here, which it's fine with me. I think it's a good option. And that might pro that's probably going to be the option that I'm going to use on this tutorial today. So all you would do is you would grab it, your ends, you would fold them right sides together, their short raw edge, and sew a stitch right here. Then turn it, you're doing that on both ends. And then you would turn it just like we did here earlier. And then you have it like this. You would quarter your band and you would just attach it like you attach a band, starting right here. You start attaching and then ending up here at the other, at the other side of the placket. And that's how you would attach it. And I think that's how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna show you a different way as well. The second method of doing this would be binding. So what you could do is you could um, give your uh, band a memory crease by folding in half and then folding the two ends to the inside like so and then folding again and this will make it like a, a binding creases so it'll help you to sew it easier. Since I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do this option, I'm not gonna do that, but that's how you would do it. So then you would grab your um, band and you would fold your seam allowance over. So you're gonna grab and place the right side of the band to the wrong side of the shirt neckline, leaving your um, seam allowance out and you would fold your seam allowance over to the front like so, okay? And then you would sew this on to that raw edge. You would sew that raw edge right there. So let's pretend I'm sewing it, but I'm really just pinning it. So then once that's sewn right there and you go all the way around sewing it on, you're going to now grab it and you're going to flip it. Hold on, let me move this needle a little bit so it helps me. You're going to flip it. So this part will come over like this. So you're covering that edge and it would come down. So you'll have one crease here already and then you would go over the other crease like so and then you would top stitch it on. Now I like this because it covers that edge and you don't have to worry about um, this, the, the seam, uh, the serger stitch or anything hanging out, but this also means that you're gonna have to top stitch um, this down. So if you don't have a cover stitch or something like that, uh, and you don't really like a stretch stitch on your sewing machine, though you could probably do a straight stitch because this is open, you don't need to stretch it, so a straight stitch would work. This could be an option, it's up to you. It looks a little wonky here because I know you, I just have it pinned down, but if, if you sew it on, it will look obviously better. Um, and you can do that with, like I said, a straight stitch because of the fact that um, it's not gonna be stretched out. Anyway, so that would be the way to do it as binding. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just do it as uh, the first option that we talked about. I don't know, I just find that option easier. Um, and we'll see what happens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my neckband, like I said, and fold it right sides together and sew that raw edge on both sides. I'm gonna do that to both sides. All right, so I went ahead and sewed those up. So now we're gonna turn them right side out. So like poke that out on both sides. And I'm gonna give this like a little a steam to um, like a folded wrong sides together steam so that when we go to attach it, it makes things easier to attach and everything. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go and, and like place them together, the two front sides, and I'm gonna go to the back and quarter it. We're gonna start quartering our neckband, and we're also going to quarter our bodice in a minute. So 
we got that and then we'll bring both of these in and and each edge is your quarter so I like to like kind of um, do a little snippy like with my clip my um, snips because then it helps me keep those even and I, I find that that really helps. They get eaten by your seam allowance when you're sewing it, so you can't even see that after you're done. On our shirt, we've got this right here is our, our back. So we're gonna grab like our front and back together and go to, whoop, I'm sorry. We're gonna match up our front and back. Now remember, cause you're going all the way in, so you wanna make sure that you're matching it like this. And you're going to one side, and then you're gonna go to the other and mark your quarters on your top as well. And now we're gonna go ahead and just attach our neckband. So we'll start with like the back piece, right sides together. So the, since we're doing it just the neckband style, we're just going right sides together and we are clipping right to our top. And here at the edge, you wanna make sure that they're nice and flush. Now, sometimes I like to go ahead and baste this together here first with my sewing machine before I actually sew with my serger because you're gonna stretch a little bit and you don't want this to move and then you have an uneven neckband right there. Um, so you, if you want to, sometimes um, doing a basting stitch first helps a lot. And like I said, if you wanted to do um, a straight stitch with this, it should be fine because you're not gonna be stretching this neckband like you would a regular neckband. So let's go ahead and sew this up and we'll be done. That's it. That was super easy. I'm gonna put like a, a, what do you call it? A pin right here at the beginning. Sometimes I like to do that to help me guide the fabric as I'm sewing it. So that way it won't just get stuck on my sewing machine and it tries to give me a pain in the bum. So I use that and I kind of pull it forward as I go. All right, so like I said, when you flip this out like this, you'll have like this seam allowance right here kind of hanging out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you can trim it down a little bit or you can top stitch it like right here. Do like a little top stitching up and down right here um, where you kind of make it go down and keep it in so it's not poking out. Now obviously I am using knit, so it's a little bit different than if you're using woven. If you're using a woven fabric, you may wanna do it the other way so that your seam is, your your you don't have like, see how I have like my raw edge right here? I might go back over with my uh, serger and just uh, finish that raw edge so it doesn't fray at all. Though I am using a knit fabric, doesn't usually fray, but it, because it is French terry, I might go ahead and just go over that and finish that raw edge and stop like right here because I don't want that seam right here hanging out. I'm gonna trim all that and I'll do the same for the other side. Because when you turn it, I'm gonna top stitch that again so that it has a nice, neat finish. Got a lot of threads to trim, but if you wanted to go all the way down and enclose that placket, then it looks more like it's part of the placket. You can continue to do so. I didn't, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and trim all these <laughs> threads, but it looks good. All right, so just like that, we are done with our placket. Um, so now all you need to do is, if you wanted to add buttons, um, you can do your buttons, uh, buttonholes or whatnot, but I probably am going to do like full placket where I'll probably put this button here and then I'll just stitch uh, my buttons down everywhere else. Like I probably done two more buttons so that I don't have to do a buttonhole at all. I mean, a, a, a button, um, yeah, a buttonhole at all. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. The button probably should be over here. I don't know. I might do one buttonhole. 
Oh, I am the worst. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm gonna go finish this up and then I'm gonna try it on and show you just how cute it is. All right, friends, we are done. And I think this turned out super cute. This is exactly what I was hoping for. I think it looks adorable. Um, I think it was super easy to make. The neckband was super simple. The top turned out super cute. Again, this is a um, curved hand tank by Ilian Mac. I just, where the curve starts to slope down, I just went straight across, and that's the only thing I changed other than obviously the adding the placket and the neckline. So if you wanna go grab this free pattern and hack it with me, you can go ahead and do so. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't so you never miss any of our tutorials. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.